you're watching this, I'm dead. You don't need that mask. I know it's you, Rachel Ghoul. You allowed this blasphemy, this sacrilege. Did you think you could keep it from me? Harlot streets will not save Gaza from his reckoning. Not now!
will be dead before they get you. Your precious family. I will slaughter them one by one. And when they have drawn their last breaths, I will burn the city to the ground. You won't get a chance. Gotham is their city now. If you're watching this, I'm dead. This is a code black. This message was automatically triggered when I destroyed the cave and everything it contained. I know what's coming won't be easy. Many of you knew Bruce from Gotham's celebrity pages. A handsome, charming billionaire. And he was that. But he was more than a headline. He was my nephew. He was a friend, a mentor, and a benefactor to those of us gathered here today. And to those of you who didn't know him as we did, I want to tell you this. Bruce was Gotham. He loved this city more than he loved anything. He was a protector to this city. He worked tirelessly behind the scenes to bring justice 
and equality. There's nothing he wouldn't do. No project he wouldn't champion if he thought Gotham would benefit. And I think in remembering that, we remember Bruce as he truly was. had my back when I needed you. I know you'll keep Gotham safe. Good luck. And goodbye. How's Alfred? What you'd expect. Took him three years to agree to a vacation and Bruce turned up dead. He asked for some time. He knows none of us were there either, right? What about you? You let Jacob Kane give the eulogy. He offered. He thought it'd be easier on us if he was the one to do it. He's Bruce's uncle. Hell of a speech. All that talk about a protector who works behind the scenes. If he only knew. Catherine wouldn't be there if she suspected. I can't see the anti-vigilante police commissioner presiding at Batman's funeral. Here's something else she doesn't know. She has the body of Batman's killer in her morgue. Rachel Ghoul is listed as a John Doe, slated for cremation. And what if the League of Shadows finds him? If they drop their dear leader in a Lazarus pit, he won't be so dead anymore. You want to break into the GCPD headquarters for a what if? Be my guest. I decrypted the case Batman sent with his message. We should focus on that. I looked it over, but did I get everything? It doesn't look complete. I think Raish interrupted him while he was writing. He says this has implications that could shake Gotham to its core. Ominous, but not exactly helpful. I saw a few places we should poke around. Construction sites, a quarry. He also mentioned a Dr. Langstrom. Anyone know him? He's a zoologist at Gotham University. Not sure what his connection is, though. Let's divide up the work. We can meet at the Belfry when we're done. Get it up and running. Who gets to talk to Langstrom? I'm at Gotham U. So this professor was Batman's last case? Kirk Langstrom. The half-finished file was big on Batman's radar. 
that usually means something bad. Hopefully that means a fight. Could stand to let out some aggression right now. idea on this faculty dude, Kirk Langstrom. Right. I'll call it in on the way to the morgue. So our scientist got himself dead. Where's his office? Seriously? Crap. Well, our notes had his office on the third floor of Molten Hall. Thanks. left the doors open on the third floor. This is it. Not seeing much police work here. Guess Langstrom kicked it somewhere else. Okay, those marks are weird. on my end yet. You need anything, big guy? I got this. You don't need to do all of this alone if something's weird. Sounds like you don't trust me, Nightwing. He trusted you. So? So do I. We'll finish this for him. Yeah, yeah, I get it. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Someone messed this place up bad. Langstrom died in here. Guess the cops got tired and went home for the night. Langstrom was busy working when he was attacked. He lost a lot of blood. Fast. He tried to run, but the attacker pinned him to the wall. He didn't have a chance. Just before he died, Langstrom tried to get to that cabinet. What could be so important? Well, well, well. A hidden door. You're full of surprises, Dr. Langstrom. I can enter a code on the thermostat. Hmm. Langstrom circled two dates. Better remember those. Is this just a movie he liked, or is the release date a clue? That's not a Gotham area code. Maybe this phone number isn't just a phone number. This microwave doesn't look right. Maybe it's not just for warming up leftovers. Got it. Time to find out what you were hiding, Langstrom. Oh, 
hell's going on in here? This can't be normal university research. Langstrom's desk. Let's see what he's been up to down here. What is this? A hard drive. Must be important if it was hidden down here. Better get this back to everyone. I'm done here. I don't think the cops saw the marks on the walls, and they definitely didn't see the hidden lab. I'm bringing you a hard drive I found in there. Can't wait to decrypt that bad boy. See you soon. Seriously, no one could have seen me. Here setting fires. Of course. Gangs have been tightening their grip on Gotham since Batman stopped showing up. The freaks want the neighborhood to know they're in control. Time for me to crash their party. Torch in this place with all that. <laughs> Better take care of his buddies before they burn the whole damn place down. Gets old. Smashy, smashy, smash, smash. Gotta be more of them here.
You are unbelievable. drive I found so we can crack it open together. Maybe we'll find out what got Langstrom killed.
Nice work grabbing that drive from Langstrom's lab. Do we have any idea of what killed Langstrom yet? Hard to say much until these computers are up and running. Or we can examine the body, but for what it's worth, my gut says we're dealing with a who, not a what. That makes me feel slightly better, I guess. Once we can get at the data, we can figure out what our next move is. I'm going out. I'm not gonna sit and wait for... whatever this shit is. We're waiting for intel, Jason. Once we have it, then we'll go. <sighs> move. I'm gonna solve this case my way. He wanted us to work this together. Whatever. That's making this harder than it has to be, kid. I guess, since we're waiting anyway, we might as well take another look at what Bruce had on Langstrom. Crap. That must have been the secondary breaker. The primary went out months ago. I thought the backup would hold. I got it. No need. I've put in a small fix that should hold for a while. Wasn't sure you were coming, Alfred. I'll always be here when you need me, Master Richard. When any of you need me. I'm glad you're here. As am I, Master Tim. This place does need work. Damn it. We've got activity all over the city. Sweet. Looks like my plan wins. Hold up. We still need the intel. And Alfred can't exactly set this place up alone. Indeed, Miss Gordon. I have a list of supplies we'll need. I could do it on my own, but... It would be faster if I had help. You can count on us, Alfred. We'll divvy it up. Let's finish what Bruce started. Seriously sketchy shit in that guy's lab. Find anything at the construction site? Nothing. Place was totally cleaned out. Looked like somebody shut it down. Hoping that drive you brought back will have some answers. Damn thing's gonna take forever to decrypt. We should be out there, doing something. Finding whoever did this to Langstrom. Jason, you and I both know what can happen when you rush into a case without all the information. We've already lost one member of this family. Don't put yourself at risk. I can't help but wonder if I hadn't done those things. What Bruce have told me? Did he not trust me? Jason, he didn't share this case with any of us. Not until he had to. And when he did, he turned to you. Of course he trusted you. And so do I. Thanks, Babs.